Brought to you by the community of certified B Corporations. Have you ever been doing something that you didn't realize you were doing until someone came along and told you you were doing it? That's exactly what happened to my company, and I want to share a lesson from that that I think we can all use to help take the B Corp movement to the next level. I'm Kyle Garner from Organic India, and if you're anything like me, your connection to the B Corp community came with a simple question. What's a B Corp? I know that was the question I asked at my previous company um, when our sustainability director came with me, came to me with a proposal after we had been acquired by Procter & Gamble, and I said, what's a B Corp? That's when I met Yola. For those of you who don't know Yola, as some people do obviously, she is the community development manager for the B Labs in the Vermont office, and she is also a force of nature that was not going to give up until I got my questions answered. After talking with her for an hour, I had two new questions. Why didn't we do this before, and when can we get started? Fast forward a year, and I found myself at my first Champions Retreat. Didn't know what to expect, but it was just up the road in Burlington, so I thought, what the heck, I'll drive up and see. It's a beautiful town. Um, and after spending the time there, the thing that occurred to me is that it wasn't enough just to celebrate New Chapter's accomplishments and to pat ourselves on the back. We had to do more. We had to take this message to more people. And what we realized is it was possible for purpose and profit to coexist. It was possible for businesses to be a force for good. It was possible for these companies to solve some of the world's toughest problems. So if it isn't clear, I was converted. And I hopped in my car and I drove back to tiny little Brattleboro, Vermont to meet with my team. And we started executing marketing campaigns and, and retail education. Our goal was to educate consumers and retailers on why this movement was so important. But for me, that was just the beginning. My real turning point came in January of 2015. I was approached about taking a job at a small tea and supplement company here in Boulder called Organic India. And Organic India is significantly smaller and significantly well, less well-known in our industry than New Chapter. And I also had to uproot my family and move across the country. So it wasn't an easy decision. But there was something pulling me in. There was something I just couldn't shake about this idea. I wanted to join this company. And it didn't take me long to figure out what it was. Organic India was a B Corp, but they just didn't know it yet. So I hopped on a plane and I flew to India and I met with the founders. And here I found this company that was doing amazing things, all this great work. But it wasn't the great products that they were selling. It was the, the, the mission that they had to help these small family farmers and train them on organic and regenerative practices. So I say to the founders, why isn't Organic India a B Corp? And you won't be surprised, they had the same question I had two years before, what's a B Corp? And that's when it occurred to me, the question shouldn't be what, the question should be why not? Why aren't more companies doing this? Largely, it's because most companies don't know it's an option. Talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, they don't know this exists. And when they do find out, they realize how incredibly difficult it is to get certified. And it's even more difficult if you see the people in this room and you try to raise your standards to the level of a lot of the other B Corps. The reality is, if you're starting a new business, everything is hard. There's really nothing you can do that's more difficult than starting and running a successful business. So it's only slightly more difficult to do it the right way. So I came into Organic India and said, let's pretend this is a new company. It's clearly not a new company. It's been around for 20 years. But how do we take all this great work that's been happening and codify the mission and bring it to life so that it lasts long after the founders are gone and long after I'm gone? So we took the assessment, and I realized we weren't exactly measuring what mattered. We were doing all this great work, but we weren't tracking and pushing ourselves to do even more. And so we used the assessment to take the great work and build that foundation, but also to push ourselves to do more. And we got through the certification in September of last year. And, and for me, it was rejoining a community that I had fallen in love with two years before. And I didn't want to waste my second chance. So I sat down with our team and I said, how do we connect with other B Corps in this region where there, there are so many B Corps and work with them and find creative ways to work together? But I committed myself to finding small companies in our natural product space to help them start their business the right way from the beginning. So what does that mean for all of us in the room? Certainly you wouldn't be here if you didn't already believe this and you weren't already practicing these things for your business. But to me, that's only half the battle. We have to use this opportunity to educate our next generation of employees on why we got into business in the first place so that they know it after you're gone. And we also have to look for like-minded people at like-minded companies. And don't wait for them to ask you what a B Corp is. Go out and tell them. Find a small company and mentor them. 
bring them on board to the movement and educate them on why this is so important for the world. And when you go out and find these people that are doing great work and just don't realize they're doing it, ask them the most important question. Why aren't you a B Corp? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.